Hey everyone. So the vegan teacher, I have to understand something. So um, Repsion posted a video about this, and I just gotta say something. This woman, tra you're saying that you're vegan phobic. You're telling Gordon Ramsay that he should become vegan. See, this is what bugs me. You are trying to forcefully force people with intimidation and fear to become vegan. You are no different than those religious extremists forcing people to be Christian or forcing children out of your, like, to have gay conversion therapy because you think they're too broken. Like, you shouldn't have, you, you don't have the right to go on social media and post these ridiculous videos and be the most hated woman on the internet. I mean, like Anthony Bourdain said, he said vegans are the most enemy of everything good in the human spirit. And he's absolutely right. It's aggravating. I guarantee you, if people like you were on a desert island, you would have to go after a crab or a fish or a rat or whatever they have on desert islands. I guarantee you, you would eat an animal or a fish or or a, um, or a crab or something. I guarantee it. That's, that's what's funny to me. Like, I, I wish that people would do a reality show and grab vegans like you, put you on a desert island, fight for survival. It would be hilarious. <laughs> it would. You know what would be even more funnier? If they had a nut allergy. And then, they, and then they had no protein. You practically would be sick all the time. And that's another thing too. Every time I hear about a vegan, they never seem healthy at all. They have hardly any muscle mass. And every time I hear from vegans, they just don't look well at all. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the people who are 120 years old right now are not fucking vegans. I guarantee you the majority of people who are over 80 years old are not fucking vegans. And here's the thing. I understand if it's like a personal choice, like if you have got a cholesterol problem, or some people just genetically have bodies that are strange. Like, there's some people out there that cannot have carbohydrates. There are actually people who get deathly ill and get very sick from having too many carbs. Like, for example, um, I was reading up on these certain very rare syndromes where people had to be on a high protein diet and they couldn't really do like carbs or anything like their body fuels more of the proteins than they do of carbohydrates. And for some reason, there's something wrong with their body that can't absorb like carbohydrates the right way or something. I forgot what it was, but it was like they were wondering, why is this girl sick? Why is she in the hospital? Why is she? And it's because she needs like an Atkins diet. So she has to eat like literally like all the time, like instead of like she has to eat bacon, she has to eat all kinds of stuff like fish and everything. And that's what she has to eat. She can't even eat. There's some people out there that can't eat vegetables. Or and here's another thing, too, for the vegan teacher. Why are you eating their Why are you eating animals' food? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are you eating their food to begin with? And here's the thing. Plants are a living thing. They grow. And yes, they do feel pain. Um... There are studies, if you actually like read a science book, there are studies that trees can actually feel pain when they're cut down. However, it does take a lot longer, say, for a human to have pain. It's almost instantaneous. For a tree, because they're so massive, it would take a while just to feel it. So... I'm pretty sure plants can too. And what about what about animals that eat other animals? What about um like cats that go after rats and what about dogs that go after 
cats and whatever else. I mean, it's in their nature. Like when you have, um, like their I see cats attack birds all the time. I mean, lions will attack certain things like elk and whatever. So, so what about that? You know, and you're right. There were some dinosaurs back then that were herbivores. You, you're right. But there are some that don't. So you also chose to be vegan, which is aggravating. You're acting like, like you have to believe what I believe or you're wrong. Or Gordon Ramsay is a horrible person because he isn't vegan. He needs to be vegan. No, he doesn't. He's a great chef. Bourdain was a great chef too. You just have this cult-like mentality that everyone has to abide by you or they're worthless. You're no different than those people who are attacking Dave Chappelle for one freaking joke and now they're using terms like transphobic which if people actually look at his stand-up special within an hour left he talks about him being really good friends with Daphne who was his transgender friend and they were very close and she was hilarious even though she did terrible on stage when the guy was heckling her because she was trans he said, does a carpet match the drapes, which is so degrading to anybody, woman or trans. And she fires back with the comment. I don't have any um, drawers, but, you know, I don't have any carpet, but I do have hardwood floors. <laughs> Implying that she has a penis. And the audience went nuts and thought it was the funniest joke ever. And her own people turned on her when she stood up for him and she took her own life. And those people don't give a damn. So that's what I'm saying is that you are part of a cult-like mentality. If you want to be vegan, that's great. If you want to talk about the benefits of veganism, that's fine. If you want to talk about... How, you know, all this stuff. But you deliberately going on the internet saying you have to agree with me or you're wrong is the craziest mentality I've ever seen. And people like this need psychic evaluation. I'm fucking serious. Like, how the hell can you go on there and make these ridiculous videos over and over and over? Which the majority don't agree with you. Isn't that pathetic? The majority do not agree with you. Even vegans are getting annoyed with her. I mean, if you really look at, I mean, one person posted a great quote by Billie Eilish that said, I'm a vegan, but I don't care if other people are, or I don't force people to be vegan or whatever she posted. And I'm like, that's absolutely true. I have friends that are vegan. I have friends that are Pescopalian or Pescetarian or whatever, where they only eat fish and they don't care. We, we go to restaurants, we hang out, we coexist. It's the same thing. Like, I got friends that are Republican. I got the majority of my family is fucking Christian. My cousin is a Buddhist. Um, one of my best friends is agnostic. My grandfather and my, my um, grandmother is agnostic. Um, so it's like, but I love them all equally. You know what I mean? We can coexist. And that's why it's frustrating when I see rhetoric like this on the internet. Like, this makes you look like a person that would be very, like, it's alarming behavior to post that stuff on social media. It really is. It's so, th because these are the same people that look like they would, these are the same people who would do like dangerous acts just to like save an animal or 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 these are probably the same fucking people like lisa simpson which that's why they make fun of it because that is just as crazy if you go into a place and start you know like doing all this stuff and what about what about PETA putting down a bunch of dogs and shit like what about all the crazy shit they've done they're the biggest hypocrites that's why I don't understand why Bill Maher even supports PETA. I can't stand PETA. 
I even have a shirt that says people eating tasty animals. And how dare you to, to how fucking dare you to say that because I like burgers and because I like fish and because I love sushi that I don't love animals or I'm an animal person, abuser, whatever. I've had dogs my whole life. I've had a Chow Shepherd mix. I've had a Yorkie. I have a Poodle um, Terrier mix. Um, my stepmom had Los Opsos. Um, I'm trying to think. One of my best friends has two cats. So for you to say that because you eat meat makes you a bad person because you harm animals is the most ridiculous, childlike rhetoric I've ever heard in my life. You chose to be vegan. And you chose to put out those videos and you chose to act like this. It's crazy. It's just utter crazy. It's just, it's insulting to tell people like that. I mean... Like, that's my point. Exactly. I guarantee you if people like this were on a desert island, they would try and fight for survival. I guarantee it. I would love it. I would love to watch people like her eat a boar. Like, and, and be, like, haven't eaten in 10 days. And, and I guarantee you she would crack. Oh, she would fucking crack and eat that boar like a motherfucker. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Watch. Watch a fucking vegan do that, man. I would laugh so hard. Those fuckers are the biggest hypocrites, dude. They really are. Oh, my God. It's just, it's insulting, too, to say that shit. It's like, I mean, have you ever had fish? I mean, I love fish, all kinds of fish. I love mussels. I love um, all that shit, man. I love all of it. I've had mahi mahi, I've had snapper, I've had rainbow trout, I've had tuna, I've had, um, I've had squid, I've had, um, I'm trying to think, I've had salmon, um, I've had eel. I love eel. I think eel is the greatest thing ever. I'm not kidding you. I love eel. Every time I go out for sushi. I get eel all the time. I love eel. The texture, the it's hard to describe, but I love it. Um, I try to think of other stuff that I've had. Um, obviously tuna, but what's what else do they have um, at those restaurants? Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to figure out what kind of other fish that they have there, what I've had. I've probably had a bunch of stuff. I probably just don't remember what other fish I've had. Like I've had mahi mahi and uni. Um, I've had all that stuff, and it's just unbelievably good. I've had crab. I've had lobster. Um, scallops. I love scallops. I know Bourdain hated scallops, but if you wrap them in bacon, oh my god, it's even better. Um, but it's like I just. Uh, She's, I just don't get it, man. We've been doing that for thousands of years. That's the thing. Like, we've been doing it for thousands of years. It's just, I don't know, man. I just, I just, I, I'm tired of cults like this, man. And then she goes on and posts all this rhetoric. I'm just glad that Repsion told me about this chick, because... This chick is just out of control. And, and and I can't, I still can't understand how someone has the audacity to talk about how uh, veganism is like, you know, the LGBTQA community and saying that they get discriminatized and all this like rhetoric bullshit. And it's like, I, I don't think you can do the correlation of that because one, you chose to be a fucking vegan. Rebsion didn't choose to be bisexual. 
I didn't choose to be pansexual. So it's kind of insulting when you say crazy bullshit like that, Karen. You should just change your name to uh, Vegan Karen. Because you're not teaching anything. All you're teaching is mindless garbage to dumb down the next generation. That's all you're doing. You're posting rhetoric. And it just makes you sound no different than a Trump supporter. Like just spreading misinformation and just a bunch of utter nonsense. They're just as bad as QAnon. It's just... Oh my god. So anyway, I don't want to talk about her anymore because I had a decent day today. So I'm going to do some marijuana. And I suggest you do the same thing and go eat a fucking burger.